is bright and early, nearing 6 a.m. right now, and I just got myself ready for the gym. Feel pretty good today. I got a good sleep, but still always feel tired at this time. I'm so frustrated because I, uh, you guys know last year or two, it's been a while, but I have suffered with like bad eczema in the past especially just like under my neck here and on my eyes i did a gluten-free dairy-free diet completely and that cleared it and i had been cheating a bit on that diet recently to start incorporating things into my diet that hopefully i can eat again like i also cut out oats because i noticed that that was a big trigger for my skin and doing that i feel like i am reaping the consequences now because my neck here is starting to get so itchy and I'm just like frustrated this morning because it is not the best feeling in the world so it looks like I'm gonna have to reassess things and go back on that diet more hardcore because I do not want to suffer with eczema through the winter time if I can avoid it and like alter my diet i 100 percent rather do that than like suffer with the itchiness and the redness and it's just horrible if you guys know you know and i refuse to use like you know topical steroids because there could be some long-term side effects to those as you guys know i've already like said this a lot in the past um if you been watching my channel i want to fix the problem internally which i did i literally did i have not had eczema for so long now and i've been so blessed because of my diet changes and it worked and so i think i need to go gluten and dairy completely free again to hopefully help my skin and to not flare this winter so fingers crossed for me but anyways it's not really bad right now so i can't complain yet but i'm in my routine era you guys and there's so many benefits to being in a routine i just feel more put together i feel more organized it's kind of like a relationship me and my routine are in a relationship and when i cheat on it oh do i feel ever so horrible <laughs> like i genuinely like hate being out of my routine like it doesn't make me feel good my routine runs my life but it's like in a healthy way like it's it's half of me it's literally like we're in a relationship i know now like that sticking to my routine is so important to me unless like you know i'm taking days off or i'm sick or whatever i'm gonna be in my routine and so we're in our routine era and i just wanted to make this vlog to hopefully motivate you guys i know i do a lot of routine already oriented content motivating content but that's what you guys are here for so i'm gonna keep making it and i know it can get a bit repetitive sometimes but i think that's the point is it not so i'm gonna head to the gym get my workout on and get it done first thing in the day so i can feel good let's head to the gym before i keep yap yap yapping on for 10 hours this is my workout set i have on today got this light brown fall vibe leggings with the matching sports bra and then i just put this aritzia tank over top i do forget where these two are from it's like a off workout brand and then this tank is from aritzia which i absolutely love it's their butter tank top so let's go i bundled up with a literal fleece a jacket and hopefully this will keep me warm i mean we're just driving and walking in but still this is the transition of the season i cannot go out with just a little sweater anymore like gonna be wearing a jacket now in the mornings which is crazy it is even cold like in the house i could feel it so gotta stay bundles up good morning doing a little bit of ice rolling because this always helps when i get like itchy i have not ice rolled in the morning in so long like i used to be religiously doing it every single morning i was just in a routine with it but i have not ice rolled for like months now maybe even like not a year definitely just months but i guess maybe since i've been using like the gua sha <laughs> maybe my face hasn't felt like as puffy i don't know but this does really feel good on my itchiness right now so hopefully this will help calm it down a bit also one thing i've noticed with my eczema is that like in the sauna it makes it worse because it's like moisture and heat oh it makes it so bad might not do that today depending how i feel at the time when it comes around but this is definitely feeling good right now but okay okay joel i'm ready to go now oh would recommend an ice roller they're literally ten dollars on amazon and they will depuff your face in the morning and just they're good for like itchy skin and stuff so would recommend she's in my amazon storefront as always
Okay guys, I just got myself ready for the day. I wanted to just put on a cute outfit to go grocery shopping because putting yourself together, it feels good. It makes me feel like I could just accomplish so many things. So we got a cute outfit on. I'll show you guys the details. Long sleeve is from Aritzia and I love this material. It feels like elevated. And then I just got this bomber jacket from Princess Polly. And then belt is from Princess Polly. Jeans are white fox. Bag is thrifted. And then this is like the statement of the outfit are my shoes, which are Adidas and like the leopard. Like, are you freaking kidding me? So I slayed the fit today. I feel really cute. This leopard is just doing me right. That is a little fit. Let's head out. So I just got to the grocery store. I kind of tried to plan out my meals a little bit before I left the house. So I think I'm going to make Thai chicken rice noodle soup because Joel has been mentioning he's been wanting that. So I think I'm going to do that today because that would slap. And I don't know if you can hear, but it just started to rain. So it's a bit of a cozy day today. And there's nothing better then it's raining outside and you're cooking a soup it's like the coziest feeling in the world so i think that i'm gonna do that tonight so i'm gonna get the ingredients for that and then i'm also gonna buy steak so i can make the chipotle bowls last time i made those they were so good like literally amazing i showed it in one of my like previous vlog months ago and then i'm also gonna get ingredients to do the honey garlic chicken thighs because those might just have to be a weekly staple because of how good they are so those are kind of my meals i want to plan out for the week and then i just have like random things to get that i put on the list because we literally have no groceries right now like the fridge is empty it's just one of those days where i haven't gone grocery shopping in a while and we are dry so gotta buy literally everything i've just been trying recently to just romanticize like my everyday tasks i feel like i went through a period where i was really good at doing that but then i just kind of fell off the bandwagon it's like most important to romanticize and to appreciate like the little things that you do every single day in your life and i know it sounds like corny to say but it is so true even just like waking up and doing your routine romanticize that appreciate it when you are on i don't mean to be morbid or anything but when you are like at the end of your life on your deathbed these are going to be be the little things that you look back at that you were so appreciative for is like the little things that happen every day the interactions you have with your friends with your family i feel like a lot of the times i take that for granted and i don't realize how lucky i am to be like living the life that i am and to be doing the things that i do especially going into these winter months it's so important to do that since maybe if you don't like winter if you don't like the cold it's harder to you know make good out of your everyday little things that you do but yeah just like finding joy in your everyday life is so important and romanticizing things like who cares if it's a tuesday go pick up a coffee and enjoy it you know what i mean there doesn't need to be excuses for things make the most out of your everyday life and i need to start doing that more again it's like grocery shopping just like i put on a whole outfit to come here i got myself ready and i'm romanticizing it and so just like taking those more daily to do routine tasks and like actually not just being a robot going through the motions but like living through them and living your life Life to the fullest you know i feel like it's just so important and it's something that we always kind of just forget to do we could become so robotic in our everyday routines it's funny because a lot of the times we look forward to these big extravagant things and yeah it is really like nice and important as well to have really big things to do to look forward to like going on a trip but you have to realize is every day we're living our just our daily lives and we have to appreciate that as well because soon enough even in 10 years looking back at the life that you lived today in 10 years you're probably going to be in a whole different chapter you're going to look back and miss what you did every day 10 years ago do you know what i mean like for example if i have kids in 10 years looking back on what i did every day net right now at the age of 24 i'm gonna be like damn like i miss just going to the grocery store without having to worry about my kids or whatever it is it's just like appreciate every chapter of your life that you're in and soak it in and just like actually realize how lucky you are to be living the life that you do so anyways uh, we actually talked about some really good stuff on our podcast recently our last couple episodes were kind of about romanticization winter arc and just like glowing up from the inside out for this fall winter so i would definitely recommend checking um my podcast out it is linked down below always if you guys think i yap a lot on my youtube i yap a lot on the podcast it's funny because i literally get comments sometimes and they're like you talk too much and i'm like babe babe what do you want me to do my youtube videos just stare at the camera 
silent isn't that the point of a youtube video thank you very much <laughs> but anyway so yeah if you guys haven't already go check out my podcast because it's actually something i love doing even though we don't make any money off of it it's like a passion project and i don't really care about that because it's something i genuinely like love doing just like youtube even if i didn't make money off of youtube i'd still be doing this every single day so let's go grocery shopping it just it keeps raining more and more so i kind of want to get in this is like the best time to come to the grocery store it's like around 11 o'clock right now there's no rush of people i love when i just have the grocery store i feel like all to myself that is the best so let's go got home baby beaner wants to be a part of the vlog say hi say hi so i'm gonna give you guys a quick little grocery haul first thing i got is some milk as i said earlier this morning i do want to wean off the dairy but Noel uses this as well so i just bought it to have in the house and then for me i got the elmhurst cashew milk you guys know i love this one because there's no oils or fillers it's literally just two ingredients and then i just got some lemon juice because i want to start making my sparkling water with lemon again i was in an era with that and i need to get back into it because it kept me so hydrated and it's just like literally tastes as good as like a poppy or something so i need to get back into that got some potatoes rice chips these are the best they're like dorito healthy dupes some canned corn for the chipotle bowls that we're gonna have i was just running low on brown sugar for baking and stuff so just wanted to buy this to restock in my second grocery bag i got some organic eggs i usually buy my eggs from costco but i didn't feel like going there today and we were running low so that'll do bananas i got some yams i love making breakfast bowls with these avocado these are actually so hard so i need to wait a few days for them to ripen so i'm gonna keep them out until then sour cream for the chipotle bowls and it's just like nice to have in the fridge yellow curry paste it was supposed to be red but it doesn't really matter um for the soup i'm gonna make tonight and then just some black beans for the chipotle bowls and then i got a lime for the thai soup tonight and then like i just said i want to start making my sparkling lemon waters again so i just bought this to have in the fridge and hopefully i will gravitate towards it because i need to bring i need to bring her back so yeah that is a little grocery haul I'm gonna put this all away now into the fridge i'm gonna do a little clean out of the fridge just because i could use a wipe down and then put everything away also i forgot to show you guys but i got steak chicken thighs and chicken wings <laughs> So I just folded the laundry towels. I cleaned the fridge out, put the groceries away. Now I'm just gonna get some work done. Today I have to do some editing. I'm trying to stay better with just like upkeeping the editing. Cause this is a one man show over here. I do have like a management team that obviously does my emails and like gets me partnerships. Other than that, I do everything myself, my editing, 
obviously my filming so i just need to make sure that i stay on top of it especially because these last few months of the year are going to be the busiest literally ever since it's christmas time and stuff it's like the busiest time for brand partnerships and just like social media it gets the busiest because brands are trying to get all their partnerships done by the end of the year so it's really exciting but at the same time i know i'm gonna have to kick it into full gear stick to my routine and we're gonna have to go grind mode for the last few months of the year and then once christmas comes along it'll be a nice like breath of fresh air so i can take some time off at the end of december i love taking the last like week of december off from christmas to new year's that's like the best week literally i just spend so much time with my family it's chill vibes and just like resetting myself for the new year so i have to do some editing today and then i also have to do some edits on a sponsorship for a brand and send that back over to them for a second round of revision so i'm gonna do that just i gotta film a little bit and send that back that's basically what my to-do list is today i just need to get a lot of editing done and editing takes hours so like that will fill up my day just doing that um i have a busy upcoming like few weeks and months ahead so like i said it's really exciting but like i gotta stick to my routine and i gotta make sure i'm planning everything and just like staying on top of my shit and um no slacking off at the last few months of the year if anything you gotta unslack you know but i've been trying to find it's like kind of some new glassware i love tortoise prints is that how you say it tortoise i don't even know i know it sounds weird when i say it but um like this print i love this print like i'm obsessed with this print and this is not a cup this is like a glass like with a lid like it has a lid if i wanted to close it but it's not a cup like it's not you know it's like heavy at the bottom like it's just not meant to be a cup so i just use it for like just random things on my desk but i love that print so much and i saw this youtuber that i follow she had glasses that were that print like drinking glasses and i'm like i need them now and she said she got them at walmart so i looked online and of course they only have them at walmart in the states so they're not yet in canada yet so hopefully they come because i've been trying to like literally ramsack and search the internet but i can't find anything in canada so it's fine maybe brands will hop on it and ship to canada but i've been trying to find so if you guys have any canadian links for that please let me know and i've been also trying to find just like new staple bowls because we have like a lot of bowls but they're not like good like big bowls if i don't know if that makes sense so i want to get like some just some new plain white bowls and i also want to get mixing bowls as well i just think that that's something we lack in this house are just like good bowls so i'm just seeing if i can find anything on amazon like a mixing bowl set and then like just a bowl set to eat with like for soups and stuff so i'm gonna keep looking on amazon for a bit but I might just end up going to Winners and seeing what they have as well. Because sometimes I like buying things in person just so I can see, like, if I'm going to like it or not. But yeah, living on your own, it's funny because, like, eventually you'll get to know things that you need and, like, prioritize over other things. And so, like, I've thrifted a bunch of, like, littler bowls. But, like, they're not very good for a lot of things, you know? So, I need a good set of bowls. But anyways, I'm going to stop yapping and get to editing and working today it's one o'clock right now so i'm gonna grind that out then we'll start making dinner in a few hours
gosh, I will have the recipe down below. This is like one of my favorite soups to make. It's so good. It kind of like gives ramen and pho vibes and it's so cozy, especially for today. It's so easy to make. It literally took me like 30 to 45 minutes to make it, which is really quick for a soup. So would recommend to make, gonna pour myself a bowl. So we just finished eating the soup was so good um, and we were watching nobody wants this on netflix so we just put it on when we were eating and it's such a comfort soup it's so good i know in the recipe it says to add rotisserie chicken but i just cooked my own chicken thighs like i just boiled them and then cut them up and then added them into the soup anyways i got a question on one of my recent vlogs asking what the chore split is between like me and joel since we both work from home so i just kind of wanted to answer that because i <laughs> He's here right Hold now. Hold on, there, I should be in this because it's probably gonna be a lie. It's <laughs> no, probably not even gonna be true. <laughs> no, you can hear me right now. So I do everything ever. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, I usually go grocery shopping, but sometimes we go together. I guess that's like a chore. Cooking dinners, it's always me because Joel doesn't really cook. He cooks himself like breakfast and stuff, but I cook us dinners. We do our own laundry, so it's not like I do his laundry. We both kind of like maintain the clean cleanliness of the house. Joel does all the blue jobs. So he takes out the trash, he takes out the compost. He always puts the recycling out when it's time. All of that, I don't have to worry about that. We both just literally do maintenance of the house, I would say like if the house needs to be cleaned we each kind of have divide the tasks and one of us will clean one bathroom the other one will clean the other vacuum etc it just like really depends on the week and the day to day but yeah we basically just split our chores evenly and i think that's fair enough since we both live together the only thing that i solely do is the cooking and then he does all the garbage and stuff so i feel like that's a pretty good trade-off it's interesting to see like people who live together what their you know split chore split is but yeah especially for couples who like both work from home together and there's not like one person out and one person not working or whatever it's like interesting but i feel like it's just fair you know divide it down the middle each play their part because if you're not each not playing your part things are going to get really frustrating so that's really important so tonight we're going to see the movie smile with madison connor my brother lucas and some friends so we're going to head to the movies in like less than an hour it starts in 50 minutes so that's going to be fun i never usually do anything on a tuesday night like we never go out on weekdays but it's just like why not we've been wanting to see this movie and it's like halloween time like halloween is soon so we're all gonna go see it and it's gonna end at a decent time it's not like we're gonna be there late so we could still get to bed at our regular time tonight so i'm excited to see that i kind of already cleaned the kitchen like while i was cooking i love doing that so then there's no dishes when you're done so that's the vibe for tonight. I'm gonna just relax a bit and then head to the movies. So when I recently went traveling, I realized that I had no good bags to pack or travel with. And then I went out looking for one at just like my local stores and realized it is hard to find a good bag. That is where BagSmart comes in. If you guys have never heard of them, they are a company that sells all sorts of bags and travel accessories. And not only are they super functional, but they're super cute and aesthetic. And they just have like the best bags. The quality of their bags is so amazing and they're perfect for either traveling, day trips, night trips, or even just for your day-to-day -day use. They sent me their blast bag. So this is a luggage like carry-on size, so you can easily bring it on a plane. I am able to pack and fit so much in this bag. It's unbelievable. And there's so many accessible pockets and it has a place for literally everything that you need. It has so much spacious storage and quick, easy access to the essentials. And it makes it so easy to pack because packing can get so daunting if you're not using the right luggage. It has a specific laptop and electronic devices compartment which i love because i always struggle to find a place to carry mine when i'm traveling also has a shoe compartment at the bottom and that's one thing when i'm going somewhere i always struggle on where to put my shoes so i love how they just seamlessly incorporated it into this bag there's also top and side easy access compartments to hold things like important documents your wallet your passport or your phone and there's also three ways that you can wear it so it can be worn as a backpack you can place it on a luggage or hold it by the side handle. I genuinely love her. We really appreciate how aesthetic she is. Love the color. It does come in multiple colors. So you can check out their website, but like material, amazing. And I cannot wait to travel so I can pack her to the fullest extent. So this is their toiletry bag. This is the most practical 
aesthetic cutesy bag ever like so pinterest it can hold literally so much and has all the compartments you would ever need and want in your life this is perfect for traveling and overnight stay or even just using it for like your daily makeup bag at home you can definitely use it just day to day this is genuinely the best toiletry bag i have ever seen and used because it's just so multifunctional and so spacious with its smart divisions it has space for quite literally everything and it has a really cute puffy design and the best thing is literally that it is waterproof. It has a wet and a dry separation design. Your wet and your dry products can be easily separated. The mesh pockets also really help keep my bottles neatly organized. And on top of that, it's so easy to clean, whereas some makeup bags, they just get so stained and dirty and disgusting. So if you guys are interested in checking Bag Smart out, I will leave a link to them down below. And they have so many other travel accessories and bags that you could check out and so many different cute colors. So I will have a link to them in my description. So go click that. And I also do have a special discount code, which will get you guys a bit of money off. And yeah, all the information will be linked in the description box. So go check them out. But anyways, thank you so much to Bag Smart for sponsoring today's video. Click their link in the description good morning you guys i am pretty tired this morning not gonna lie i can definitely hit the hay fall back to sleep in a matter of seconds but we gotta keep moving in the morning it is freezing in the house right now like it is cold so i just up the temperature it was at 22 put it to 23 celsius obviously so we'll see but it's so cool but it is another day another routine you know it's all about perspective i actually just made a tiktok and it's about like changing your perspective on things saying like i have to oh i have to go work out i have to wake up early but it's like no i get to wake up early i get to make the most of my day and accomplish my goals and i free will i can do whatever i want I get to work out, I get to move my body in any way that I want because I'm able and like that is such a blessing. It's just about switching that flip in your mindset to make you realize like things are beautiful and a lot of the times we can't see it because we're just looking at it from like the wrong perspective and wrong point of view. So yeah, like changing your mindset can do so much. Try to turn the I have to's into I get to's. And it's so true, like everything we say I have to to is low-key a blessing. So she's cuddling me all night, all night, weren't you? She's like, mm-hmm. But anyways, going to the gym today, that is my form of exercise. I don't have a class or anything booked. So just going to do the gym. It's funny because at the gym now, there is a lot less people already like starting to dwindle down before January. I mean, no hate. Good for people if they keep with it, but like... In January, the gym, oh my god, I'm actually, I actually don't even want to go for a month because of that. But the gym gets so busy, especially like in the earlier hours. You can already see the number of people dwindling down for like the holidays, not the holiday season, but like the end of the year because this is the time where everybody slacks and you can tell because there's literally like the gym is half as busy now. Let's go work out.
can finally work now because our power went out this morning you don't realize how much you use the power until the power goes out and then you're like oh my god i need the power for wi-fi i need the power for my computer i need the power for light to cook literally you need power for everything and in our house also you need power like for hot water because it's like electrical i don't even know but i came home from the gym the power tweaked and then it went out bc hydro did warn us they sent me an email around like two weeks ago saying that your power is going to be out this time to this time on this day honestly i was just a lulu and forgot about it completely slipped my mind didn't think about it once again once i read that email joel and i just didn't think about it and then this morning shit because <laughs> i had shit planned for today like i need to edit i need to like go on my computer because my computer is a desktop and so when the power's off like it's not plugged in and i, I do have a laptop but that was not charged anyways luckily like they said the power was going to be out from like the morning till the evening but it was only out for like an hour and a half so best case scenario i was like really worried that i wouldn't be able to like get work done today or anything when i was like getting ready the power went back on i'm like thank god that it wasn't out for eight hours like they said it said it would be this is like the second time our power's been out within the past week because our power went out a bit earlier on the weekend from a storm we actually had a pretty bad storm so we're fine now we have power i can use my computer but damn just like goes to show that like i need to be more grateful for having power like it's these little things you know how they always say like that expression is you never know you love it until you let it go or you don't you never appreciate anything until it's gone it's so true it's like we take so many things in our life for granted and it's just like these things that we're so accustomed to that we're so used to every single day that we just easily get every single day like having power it's just always on you know you pay the bill and it's on like you don't think up twice about it having wi-fi you don't just wake up every day and you're like oh, i'm so grateful for that because you don't think about it right so it's kind of bizarre and it makes me think like i have to be more grateful for like the little things in my life that i don't appreciate and see every day and it's like there's so many little things in our life to be grateful for if you think that there's nothing in your life to be grateful for i'm sorry but like you're not just looking at the basic things like if you can walk that's something to be grateful for if you can see that is something to be grateful for if you can hear that is something to be grateful for it's like these little basic things that are actually not so basic when they're taken away from us and you realize how much that affects our life and i know this is like really deep for just me losing power but like it really did make me think and it really did make me realize that like shit i'm taking my power for granted here like i'm taking so many things in my life for granted and um you know it's okay to have bad days and be down but overall it's like we are so fortunate to have what we have in our lives everybody has things in their life no matter where they're at that they can choose to be and see like gratitude in it when you're having a bad day i feel like it could be really beneficial to just like kind of point all those little things out when there's no like huge overarching thing to be like yeah, i'm grateful for that take a look at the little things that you wouldn't wouldn't normally just like notice because they're so we're just so used to it you know i feel like we've become as a society like everybody has just become so numb to these things but if you were to go visit maybe a different part of the world or live in a different experience there wouldn't be these little luxuries that are actually big luxuries that we don't even notice that we're so used to and it's like damn like i'm so lucky to have everything big and small in my life you know so anyways I just wanted to get that off my chest but anyways i'm going to do some work right now grind some workouts since i didn't know if i was going to be able to do this today now i'm like excited that i can do it i'm gonna grind some workout do some editing and i'll see you guys in a bit So I finished my work for the day. It's currently just past five now, I think. And I'm going to make the best, yummiest, also healthy dinner. I made it a few weeks, maybe even a month ago now, honestly. I don't know. But I made it somewhat recently and it was so good. I mentioned it in the vlog and some of you guys commented saying you want the recipe. It's not my recipe, but I will have it linked down below and we're going to make it together right now. It's honey garlic chicken and it is, it literally tastes restaurant quality. Like it is 
so good so hopefully i make it successfully again but it's pretty easy i'm just gonna make rice on the side and call it a day <laughs> how the final product looks it is the most delicious recipe of all time i swear so i'll have a link down below and i just made rice with it i'm so excited to eat it we're gonna sit down and watch love is blind and enjoy dinner was literally so delicious we ate it up like we ate all the food the rice the chicken it was all gone it was literally so amazing so definitely would recommend checking out that recipe but we just watched the like finale of love is blind this was low-key kind of like a boring season there wasn't like there was drama but it wasn't like i don't know it wasn't like other seasons let me know if you watched this season and if you liked it i just feel like it wasn't as eventful like there was only two weddings and it just i don't know just didn't hit the same but anyways i just got some shoes in the mail <laughs> I'm so excited. The leopard print is absolutely everything. I'm so excited to style these. Even just being able to wear like a pair of jeans with like a white tee and wearing like shoes like this will spice it up. You guys know I've been wanting to grow my sneaker collection. So I just want to order some new shoes for the fall and winter, I guess, because I'm just bored. And then I got these green ones, which I think they're so cute. Can't go wrong with green, but I really want to get the blue and the red ones. So I think those might be my next purchase. And the brown, there's so many cute colors. Like I can just like buy them all literally, but I'm in love with Sambas. Like they just go with everything and they complete every outfit but ugh, oh my gosh guys i am actually obsessed with them they're both in a size seven and a half very between a seven and a seven and a half depends on the shoe depends on the sneaker but um yeah i get my sambas in a seven and a half so i'm so excited to style these oh my goodness i might literally wear them tomorrow i really want to get a robe for the winter because i feel like that's one thing i'm kind of missing from <laughs> I was gonna say my closet, but maybe like my lounge or pajama collection is like a nice, good quality, trusty, cute robe. I love the ones from Durf Avenue. They're so cute. But the thing is, is ordering it from Canada is like so different than ordering it from the States. Because if you're in the States, it's like half the price and also the shipping is i don't know if it's free or whatever but i remember order wanting to order it but then it ended up being like 250 dollars and then there's probably gonna be duties on top of that for a robe and i'm like is that like is it good enough quality where it's worth it so if you guys have one of her robes let me know because like i don't mind investing in like a quality piece like that but i just don't know if it's worth the hype so i know they're super popular or if you know any other like good robes that you want to suggest because I've just been looking for one and I just feel like it would be so cozy to like put on after I shower to do my skincare. That's just been something I've been wanting to ask you guys and I keep forgetting about because you guys always give me such good suggestions. Anyways, I'm just going to do my skincare right now and then hop in bed to read.